The number one biggest mistake iPhone users make. Can you guess it? Hmm. Clorox, brush, microfiber cloth. It's not cleaning your iPhone. And this is a especially big problem. iPhones won't charge. You don't realize how much can get caught up in the ports of your iPhone. It's kind of crazy. Yep. And people would go to the Apple store with speaker problems. Stuff can get gunked up in the speakers. Stuff can even get gunked up under your case and mess up your iPhone. So yep. let's clean it out. There are good ways to do it and bad ways to do it. So good way to do it. We're gonna show you the good ways. Anti-static brush, brand new toothbrush. Don't use a tissue, a toothpick. Yep. Anything that can break off inside of your iPhone, that happens all the time, or anything metal that will damage the contacts in the bottom of your Don't iPhone. use a thumbtack. Yeah. So if we're just, you know, kind of pumping it out, I think. Ugh. Some stuff's coming out. Yeah, I mean, pocket lint really can build up. Jeez, oh my goodness. It's always amazing. Like, we do this demo, and I'm always surprised by how much comes out. It's, yeah. it's like, it's it's a lot. It was interesting. Before the wedding, one of the bridesmaids stayed at her house, and she was like, my iPhone, it's something weird. Something weird is happening. It's kind of connecting to the charger, but it disconnects. And I said, <laughs> hang on a second. Pulled out an anti-static brush. Boom. A bunch of lint came out. Problem was fixed. How about that? Hero. You, you go to be a tonight. bridesmaid, and you end up with a technical appointment. So that's nasty. Cleaning out the ports is relatively easy. One thing people really don't do is actually disinfect the outside of your iPhone. Think about how often you touch your iPhone. Right. And I think there was that one study where phones have more bacteria than toilet seats. Right. Than the average toilet seat. Average toilet seat. Okay. Right. Yep. So obviously, I mean, they get nasty. So let's clean it off. All right. Fair don't enough. Don't use anything that's crazy abrasive, but Apple actually, with the advent of COVID-19, updated their website to allow you to use Clorox wipes or Lysol wipes. Anything with alkyl dimethyl benzyl ammonium chloride. Practice that for about a minute to get it right. But 70% yep. isopropyl alcohol wipes also, also work. will work. Yep, you can get those at Walmart. They are in the medicine section, like the first aid section, and they're like a dollar fifty. Good deal. Yep, good deal. Well, it's interesting too, especially earlier in the pandemic, all the Lysol wipes are gone, but those right. isopropyl wipes, nobody picked those up. And yep. They'll do the trick too. They were cheaper. Yeah. If you go to Apple's website, you'll also see my crepe cloth, dampen it just a little bit and yep. clean up your phone. But when you're at Walmart, go to the auto section and just pick up some microfiber cloths or you can go to Apple's website. We used to sell this tiny little, it was like made by Monster. Uh, it was a microfiber cloth and a little spray and it was like $40. It was such a rip off. I would tell people just go to Walmart go and to buy Walmart. a microfiber. I mean, it's like, all right, I'll sell you a cable for 30 bucks. You might be able to save a few dollars, but yeah. It when, comes a point when, when wiping off your iPhone, don't use abrasives no. or bleach. No. Nope. Especially abrasives too. They can kind of damage the screen and your iPhone has an oleophobic coating, fingerprint resistant coating that can get worn down if you use, you know, on the abrasive side of a sponge or right. steel wool. I don't know anyone who would use that. <laughs> they don't use steel wool. Cleaner, but. Yeah, yeah. David's totally right. The uh, fingerprint coating is easy to wipe off. So microfiber cloth, 90% of the time is the way to go. If you have anything that's really kind of stuck on there, this stuff, and I think that's about it. That's about it. That, that really is, is the number one mistake people make. It's a common mistake, easy to avoid too. It takes, we did that three minutes, cleaned it, done. Yeah. Yep. Easy. Thanks for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Leave a comment down below. When is the last time that you cleaned your iPhone? Don't be ashamed to yep. admit it. Yeah, ours was about 30 seconds ago. Yeah. Well, a minute now. And yeah, please join our channel too, where you get access to great perks, the most important of which is us. Thanks for watching.